Hey, so today we have the BMW 1 Series, the 116i 2014 model. We're going to take this on a road trip of 650 to 680Ks to the top of the top of New, uh, New Zealand, uh, top of the North Island of New Zealand to a place called Kirihiri. Um, what we're going to test today is we're going to test this fuel economy. So we've had this car for a while now, um, does really good mileage, uh, especially in the Eco Pro mode, and uh, I decided today well, on this trip, it's going to be a good opportunity to test the fuel economy of this car. Okay, so. So I've had this BMW 116i for over a year now, and part of the reason I got it was because of its uh, rated fuel efficiency, uh, the efficient dynamics, I think the BMW efficient dy dynamics it has, uh, where you know when you're braking and rolling down hills the energy is uh, sent to charge the battery and a few other things that I don't to be honest understand and worry too much about. All I know is it is pretty fuel efficient when you're in eco pro mode. Um, so the car does have three settings, we've got eco pro mode, normal mode, uh, which I think is comfort, and then sport mode. So obviously sport mode, you're getting a little bit more power, um, but you are going to the gas a bit more. So I have done some big trips on this this car, you know, four or 500k trips, and I've kept the fuel mileage around the 6.0 liters per 100k, which is pretty, pretty good. And that's still overtaking vehicles, you know, sitting at the speed limit or, or a little bit above it. Um, and it is a nice car to drive, it handles really well. So it's not, uh, you know, I'm not driving like a grandma, I am making the most of the car, but I'm also keen to see how it goes uh, with the fuel mileage. So with this trip, we're going from our home in New Plymouth, which is here in the North Island. Uh, there we go, a place called New Plymouth. And we are going to go all the way to the top of the island up to where the number one is all right so it's about 650 k's about eight hours worth of driving we're going to break it into two or three chunks uh we'll go to a beach tonight and stay there for the night and then we'll drive to auckland and have lunch tomorrow and then kick on up so what i'm going to do is i am going to drive this just like i'd usually drive but i am going to drive it in eco pro mode so I'm going to drive this, uh, just like I'd usually drive, but in Eco Pro mode, I'm going to flick it into Sport mode when I want to overtake vehicles. Um, and I'm just going to drive it like, you know, like I, I, I want to enjoy the ride, but I'm also worried about fuel because it is $2.10 a litre here. So, um, you know, it's a pretty typical uh, driving experience for me. And, um, you know, we do have some luggage in the car as well. Rebecca will be here, my partner will be here. So there'll be a little bit of weight in the car. Um, but we're going to see how it goes after eight hours of driving so let's do it down here you see the switch between eco pro comfort and sport okay so i can just alternate between those so real quick i just want to show you there is a setting on this car that shows that's not our setting uh that shows the fuel consumption to date so after 40,000 k's of having this it's averages at 6.8 per uh, liters per 100 k's. Now most of that is probably a combination of city driving and open road driving and sometimes I have it in sport mode and we enjoy sport, mo sport mode. So it's still a pretty good number uh, for, for a turbo vehicle, uh, BMW. Now when I change between the settings here, you'll see on the dash how I've got Eco Pro mode, Comfort or Sport and there's also Sport Plus. Uh, when I change, you also see the center console will um, change settings. So when we go into Eco Pro mode, not only does it change the gearbox and the automatic transmission, but it's also changing the air conditioning. Uh, it's meant to be a little bit more energy efficient. So that's what we're gonna do on there. When we are driving, you will see down the bottom right here, how it has a little dash um, showing we're in Eco Pro mode and it will have your uh, fuel consumption in real time, it will change and if you're accelerating too hard it comes up with a little recommendation so I'm pretty much going to follow that if it's telling me to take the take pressure off the my foot and slow down a little bit then I will all right um, and I'm going to maximize its time and, and the charge you know rolling down hills and all that sort of stuff again I'm not trying to get a record number here I'm just going to drive it following the recommendations and um, enjoy the drive because it is going to be a nice road trip 
but also um, you know, be conscious about fuel. All right, so that's the first leg down 90 k's, uh, 90 k's in. As you can see there, it's exactly six uh, liters per 100 k. Average speed's just under 72 kilometers per hour. Uh, so that was city driving, um, uh, peak hour as well, about 5:30 ish. Uh, not big city driving, but you know, New Zealand cities. And um, it's two stops. Stopped at a supermarket and stopped to pick up Rebecca and then the rest was open road oh, including going over a, a mountain range as well uh, Mount Messenger so a lot of a lot of windies that uh, I filmed there with the um, time lapse so yeah not too bad for the first first uh, first fraction of this road trip all right so today we are going from Awakino which is North Taranaki where we are now uh, according to this 520 k's I think it's a little bit further because we're going to go north uh, all the way up to a place called uh, Kirikiri. So it's going to be a big trip for us. Um, we will stop in Auckland on the way, get some lunch, and then, uh, yeah, get to the sunny, sunny, the winterless north. The winterless far north, as they call it. So anyway, let's do this and hit the road. All right, so we just got to Auckland, uh, about halfway, and um, just pull up the stats here. So we've been driving for nearly four hours, 282 k's, 5.7 liters per 100 k's, and literally like 30 seconds ago, that was 5.6, but we had to go around and around trying to find a park, uh, which was a few U-turns and uh, a lot of stops starting. So it would have been 5.6. Also, um, so on the last what 300 k's we went through a gorge uh, a lot a lot of windy new zealand roads uh, and then about 100 k's on a motorway and went through a lot of a lot of traffic uh, a lot of stop starting so i was using the stop start feature on the car but that was kicking in now and then so yeah i mean if there wasn't traffic we would have easily been 5.6 maybe even 5.5 so we're just going to go get lunch now so all right last leg We've got last leg, I think it's what how far does it say? Three and a half hours. So now we're going all the way up there. Bye bye.
so if you can see on the right hand side there it's got the eco pro mode uh, and if I put my foot down really hard see how it goes gray and then it comes up with that uh, little symbol saying uh, take your foot off the accelerator so pretty much I'm just trying to follow those guidelines try not to accelerate too hard I mean I'm still putting my foot down reasonably hard here as I go up this hill um, and then as you take the foot off it'll swing into that charge side on the left there so when I'm going down hills obviously I'll take the foot off and uh, it'll swing over to charge and, and charge the battery also um, in the middle of the dash there sorry if the camera's not the best you can see the, the real-time uh, gas usage so right now what are we at 2, 3, 3.6 as I take my foot off it will drop down to zero um, so using that as a feedback mechanism I guess helps as well you know like just try not to accelerate too hard but again like I'm not trying to go for amazing fuel efficiency I'm just just cautious or you know wary of it uh, one final thing is using the um, cruise control so I'll try use cruise control as much as possible because um, the computer will keep me in that eco zone uh, you know even if I'm going up a big hill and it's set to say 100 k's it, um, it'll it won't accelerate hard it'll just keep me in that blue zone without dropping into the gray zone like just happened there uh, so yeah I'll use cruise control as much as possible as well uh, at the moment okay. so uh, we got about a hundred k oh, uh, 70 k's to go uh, and it literally just tipped over from 5.7 average to 5.8 uh, so there's been lots of hills and lots of windy roads and a bit of traffic as well it's nearly six o'clock on a Friday night here uh, so still 5.8 average uh, for what 475 k's is pretty good average speed 75 so this hasn't been the best trip you know lots of traffic going through the cities and going through Auckland and everything there as well uh, but on the open road you know it'd be sitting around 100 105 but when you're going through these sort of roads where it's quite windy here um, you know what I'm doing 80 85 uh, you know so but yeah so I mean that gives you a pretty good overview of the uh, fuel efficiency and, and what I'm seeing on the dash and I like using that obviously when you're in the eco mode you're getting that feedback through the blue gray zone there and the, and the little visual cues, cues telling you when to take the foot off the accelerator um, but then having that real-time number on the dash is uh, I don't know it's just another handy feature and then obviously up on the console you've got your trip your trip averages so that's kind of fun to watch as well to see see what's going on and, and of course having all that data there does make you a little bit more aware of your driving habits if you are trying to save gas um you know like being being told you know having that little visual saying take your foot off the accelerator seeing the averages changing all the time uh you know just again it's just feedback and you've been more aware of it other otherwise you might just accelerate a little bit harder and you see the numbers going up and you're like oh okay well buddy's up on that so yeah that's everything so we'll, we'll do a final uptake when we get to our destination in about an hour's time and see what the end numbers are so one other feature of the uh, eco pro mode is sorry for the wobbly filming here is the uh, extra distance or the distance you've saved by driving an eco pro mode so uh, I'm doing this from the passenger seat and it is bumpy but anyway the number on that screen was um, 49 case and uh, that just means that by driving in eco mode uh, we have saved an extra 49 case since we filled up and uh, we got about an 80k range left so um, not too bad you know 50 case extra on a 600 700k I don't know what the tank range is but uh, yeah so just another feature in the eco pro mode all right so after leaving at 9 30 this morning it's now eight o'clock we've stopped a few times seven and a half hours of driving as you can see they're 5.8 liters per 100 k's average speed 73 k's there was about seven k's of a uh, seven or eight k's of gravel road like horrible gravel road so we're only going about 30 k's on that uh and the traffic was pretty bad uh for the last 
an hour or so. I like was sitting on 80 k's for most of it. So um, that obviously helped with petrol consumption as well, but couldn't get it back down to the 5.7. Uh, there was a lot of winding roads. Oh, there was a lot of winding roads there as well at the end. Um, and lots of hills as well. So yeah, I mean, anyway, point of the story is uh, 538 k's today, 5.8 average. I can't even remember what it was yesterday. I think it was under six. So what I have to do is I have to crunch some numbers and, and get a total average of the 600 odd case. But as you can see, I mean, it was, it was pretty good. And um, I definitely wasn't driving like a nana. Uh, it was overtaking. In fact, a few times I, I did bump it into sport mode to, you know, on the highway to pass a few cars and, you know, on the motorway sitting on 110, 115 even, uh, all good and well. So, I mean, yeah, amazing, right? Like. I tell a few people, uh, you know, we're doing these drives, going through gorges over mountain ranges and everything, and we're keeping it under five liters per 100 Ks, and they're like, what, really? Um, plus, it was a really hot day today. I mean, as you can see with some of the time lapses and stuff, well, it was, you know, I saw 26, 27 degrees on the dash here a few times. So we had the aircon going, even though it was on the eco mode. So pretty impressive. Huh? I'll do a quick... Um, I'll crunch the numbers and I'll, I'll put together an average for the for the duration. But hopefully, that uh, helps if people are looking to get in these cars or you know curious about fuel efficiency on these cars. Um, hopefully that helps. If you enjoyed it, you know, leave comments, like, questions, subscribe. Uh, this isn't the typical video I do. It's more health and fitness related. But I wanted to put this out there to help the world, as they, as people say. So um, yeah, there we go. Bye. Hey, so I'm back home now. It is Monday. We we drove another six seven hundred k's yesterday uh to get home so big trip but i wanted to crunch the numbers now um i didn't track the uh the fuel uses on, on the way back too much because we we stopped in a city uh i actually had a party to go to or a friend's party um you know so i was going around town and stuff like that went grocery shopping uh rebecca drove for a little bit um in fact i even think i had it in sport mode for a little bit coming back you know around some of the through some of the gorges just a little bit more fun so i didn't crunch the numbers for that but i know that would have been you know well above the 6.0 but let's have a look for the trip up and look at the exact numbers we we hit um in the eco pro mode so so the first leg we had 90 k's at uh, 6.0 liters per 100k kilometers. Um, that was up across Mount Messenger and through uh, quite a hilly, um, about half an hour of, of hills and, and corners. And uh, so that's, that's pretty good considering. And then the big leg was 538 kilometers at 5.8 liters per 100k. And that was with some city stops. Um, we got a lot of traffic in the highway going through Auckland, plus a lot of rural driving. Uh, anyone that's driven the North Island, New Zealand roads knows that it's not like, you know, American expressways or even Australian expressways where you're just sitting on 110 and, you know, you can go to sleep almost. Uh, it's not like that at all. Uh, the roads here aren't anything special. So let's work this out. I have my calculator here. So we're gonna go. So it's a total of 538 plus 90, 628 kilometers. Uh, 90 divided by 628, 14.3%. Eighty-five point six seven percent. So we'll go. So we have a total of 5.83 liters per 100k over 628 kilometers. It's not too bad, huh? 
So that's that's overtaking cars, that's going through expressways, highways, that's going through two gorges, over mountain ranges, down mountain ranges, um, roadworks. We were on gravel road for about at least 10 kilometers perhaps. Um, not that you're probably using much fuel there, but I mean, it just shows the... Uh, the overview of the journey, uh, yeah, motorways, single lane stuff, it was all sorts. So, not too bad, uh, keep that in, eco pro for probably 99% of the time, um, did flick it into sport mode to overtake a few times, and yeah, I guess I was driving uh, cautiously in the sense that I knew we were going to do a lot of case, and I was curious to see what it would go, what the number we could achieve. Yeah, I was driving to see what number we could achieve, but I wasn't trying uh, to m minimize like fuel consumption. I'm sure if I really tried, had to, I could get that down below 5.6, to be honest. Uh, but that would be, you know, no, no accelerating, um, hard through corners, minimal overtaking, uh, trying to avoid towns and cities and stuff, which I did anyway, but yeah, I mean, if, if you're driving in eco mode and you're not too aggressive on the accelerator and you're driving a BMW uh, 1 Series, then you can do some pretty good mileage. Um, so yeah, hopefully that gives you a bit of insight if you were curious to buy one of these vehicles and you're doing it for fuel reasons. Um, yeah, hopefully this gives you some solid numbers. Uh, what else? Yeah. I'm not much of a car guy, so um, I can't explain too much about the car itself. But if you wanted to know something more about it, just shoot me a question. Oh, shoot me a question in the comment box below. Uh, again, I don't really do many car motoring vehicles. I'm more health and fitness. So um, if you're into health and fitness, check out my other videos. Uh, otherwise, if you like this, hit thumbs up. And um, yeah, if there's anything else you want to know, let me know. Otherwise, bye.